hi everyone and welcome back welcome to another brand new video and in this video we are going to talk about swell kit layouts that's really uh, important topic because when we build the application there are many links here and there the header footer new menu and every page can have their own layout like let's say the application layout auth layout side nav layout right so how we can reset the layout and how we can inherit the layout from the parent component and how we can define the, the layout of each and every route separately okay this is our code base and we will try to match the layouts with this so here you can see there is some kind of a layout which has the new menu and when you click on settings this menu should appear the the left new menu and then when you click on the settings profile then this body template can change and that has its own layout okay so let's start from here we are working on the layout okay so we'll create the uh, routes i somehow deleted it and another important i mean i, I will cover a lot of things let's say i wanted to do the groupings of the layouts how can i do this without even making that as a path inside the navigation i can just prefix them something like this that is i think the same concept is there in the next js you can create a folders like this they won't become the path in the the url here you can say app auth i can now i can group the components in the auth i can have a login re reset password forget password and register which they can have their own separate layout and the app where post login user will try to access it and they have its it it will have its own layout and inside this we have a root layout which is plus layout dot ts and plus layout dot svelte okay so i mean these two are defining this is the root layout component and root layout i mean if you want to feed some data using simple load function you can do it with the layout.ts and uh, you, how your layout will look like that will be defined here in the layout.js layout.swelt component so i'm not defining any root level layout i'm just putting the slot slot means all the children component of this root layout will be rendered here i'm just adding some css and in the layout.ts you can create some uh, simple load function which is not doing anything just returning some data it's returning user which i can access in the components using data.user okay now we'll work on the auth and app let's say first we start working on the auth okay so in the auth i will further create a component login and register now whatever the layout i'm defining for these app will not be impacted by this because they can have separate layout because in the login what we need i just need a small login form in the middle of the page nothing else no header no footer right so its layout is totally different so i have a, a login and register and my login page is simple so in login i'm creating plus page dot svelte and the content is simple i have a simple form login form and it is getting the data and in the register i have a same kind of form i will just add it plus page dot svelte and inside this register i will have just couple of more fields that's it i have like let's say couple of more input text fields for the the register form okay and it there is no layout defined that means they will just appear in the middle of the page let's see if i just try to run this npm run dev what will happen and 5173 try to open it
currently we don't have any root page defined because if you see why this is happening let's move it closer here inside this we don't have any plus page dot svelte any defined right so what we will do is we can just create some simple page plus page dot svelte hello and when you put the login yes it's showing the login form and when you hit the register it's showing the maybe the register i mean we can just change the label but it is rendering the login and the register forms right now we will just change the layouts i mean we haven't defined any layouts yet this layout is not doing anything it's just feeding some data through this uh, layout.svelte okay we are just using app.css for the auth this is the root layout now for the app components because in the app component we are going to have a lot of things about settings home and all so let's do this we can remove the page.svelte here because we don't have any intention to put it here inside app because app is not going to become a path what we can do is we can just put a plus page dot svelte now this page will become the root because app is not a path of a route and whatever we are putting inside plus page dot svelte will actually become the the root page data dot user dot name and inside app i have a layout also defined layout dot svelte how i do it plus layout layout dot right this page will define how this page will really look like right so here i can have let's say header let's say if i'm not defining any layout this is my layout i will define it and this is the page so i will just see something like this on the root yes layout right and the data which is coming to the page component which is data dot user dot name which based on my understanding should be coming from this layout dot ts data dot user dot name uh, data dot user dot name should be available in this page dot svelte also data dot user dot name and home okay so this is layout and this is page dot svelte let me rerun this okay this is rendering the layout and inside page dot svelte mm -hmm. we have the the component let's see this is layout it's uh, rendering the layout and this page dot svelte okay let's see inside app we have couple of more things like let's say about and we have settings right so we have like uh, some kind of a new bar which is defined and inside that we have the abouts and settings page inside about okay yeah i got it because in the layout we didn't define the slot my bad if you are not defining this you are not putting a place where the children should render right now when you hit forward slash it will render home and the user i mean i was doing a blunder very big mistake right plus page dot felt it will use this layout and in those on this layout all the components will be rendered here so now i can start doing things i will start building the layout and in the layout we are using some stylings which are defined in the app.css i'm using tailwind here i will also talk about how to set up the tailwind and all but i can use the new bar which is provided by tailwind example i have a tailwind templates this is a simple header i can create and simple new bar 
I will not invest much time in writing HTML. So this is the new bar which has uh, and the left hand side flex one which will have a swell kit layout and in, in the right hand side it will have a, these four links. Okay. Now let's see we got something like this. Right. This is our app layout. Right. And this is our home page. Now we can define about and settings inside about whatever you put inside about is let's say plus page dot svelte inside about plus page dot svelte we can just say okay this is the about page blah blah and uh, settings is important because settings will have a nested route we will create few more things like profile appearance inside settings let's create another folder profile appearance it should look like okay inside settings we have profile appearance and this will also have the layout uh, some data and all these things inside settings what all things we have because we need to define how the settings will look like right I mean, let me close all the folders sometimes it looks confusing because everywhere you see the same file names auth is closed inside app i'm just only on the settings so in the settings we have appearance and the profile and it will have its own layout and page dot svelte what will happen when you click on settings i will create plus page dot svelte it will be something like okay this is a settings page and this is the data you can print something and it will have its own page dot ts and plus layout dot svelte here you can specify how the layout of the settings will look like because when you click on settings what will happen we want to show the left new bar and the right hand section right so it's like you can say in the definition of react world it's a nested routes we are creating so in the layout page dot svelte layout we can just for now we can just create a slot and this page we are rendering inside page dot ts do we need to do anything we are not doing anything inside page dot ts returning empty data so when i click on settings okay it is giving me the settings that is coming from plus page dot svelte yeah when you click on settings this is rendering it now we need to design the left new bar so that we will put inside the layouts of the settings because whatever the the this is the root layout at the app level now at the settings i need to redefine the layout for the settings sections only right so i will just put the the template which i have as some kind of a drawer i'm going to put so i have a further pages settings appearance and the profile let me just uh, check if it is correctly placed so what i did is i have a left new bar and with these three links okay uh, something wrong i mean some styling issue but what we have is when you click on home it is showing uh, the okay so the layout issue is fixed uh there was nothing i was checking the the mobile view okay coming to this this is actually the desktop view but when you zoom it uh, it will create a layout view it will create a mobile view and there i will see this button because it's all tailwind classes we are using okay so inside settings what do we have when you click on settings this layout will uh, come into picture and you will see this left menu right and this is settings layout inside settings we have two more folders let's say the profile and appearance for appearance it's fine when you click on it it's it's just using the same layout it's not resetting the layout because we just have the component but for the profile what i did i am using 
uh, if you look into the profile what do i have i have created a file plus layout at the rate dot swelt what it will do it is actually resetting the layout i mean it's the overriding the layout whatever i have defined and it is just using slot and this is the the devices it, this is the profile right it is just saying profile settings so when you go to settings profile what will happen is everything is gone whatever the the layouts we have defined the root layout and the settings layout everything is gone because it has its own layout defined here let's not even talk about the settings uh, i can delete this here i'm talking only about the profile appearance is inheriting the settings layout but the profile has its own layout defined uh, let's play with this what will happen if i just remove this thing then it will still use the parent layout let's see the profile right it's still using because we haven't we are we haven't defined anything new in the layout but if you really want to override it then you just need to use at the rate i guess everything is gone right so what this at the rate is doing whatever the the layout root this is the root layout then we have the app layout defined here then we have a settings layout which is defined here then i don't want to use anything all, all all of these layouts i have maybe have totally a different layout which i wanted to put and i wanted to reset everything then i can just use plus layout at the rate dot swell and everything is gone it will just show whatever is in the component plus page dot swell so it's all about playing with the layout how you can create these kind of screens by nesting the layout right it's it's, it's somewhat like uh, interesting how we define the layouts in the swell kit but it's all about how we put the plus layout dot uh, swelt in different folder structure either we inherit the layout or I, I, or we reset the layout that's all this is all about the layout in the next video let's build some more interesting uh, applications in swell kit with the uh, tailwind